hailed as one of the best Q joints in Texas, this place was started back in 2010 by the Fortins. That's Pit Boss Justin and his wife, Boss Lady Diane. So, and Justin, I understand you guys started like a farmer's market? Well, it actually started a lot a lot earlier than that. We uh, we used to just drive our pit around selling barbecue sandwiches out of the back, car washes and Jiffy Lube and stuff like that. <laughs> Gosh, so you've come a long way. It's gotta be pretty cool to see this, this line, like how far y'all come. It's been quite a ride, you know, I mean, from there to the to the farmer's market and then over here, it's just, it's been, it's been crazy. A serious ride for a couple that stepped away from corporate gigs to chase their dreams, which actually didn't start out as barbecue. Well, when we got into it, we didn't even consider ourselves a barbecue joint. It was more of a southern food restaurant. So, okay. <laughs> so we had barbecue and we had fried chicken and a bunch of other stuff, but it was over time it was the barbecue that really captured people's attention. So y'all still have fried chicken? And stuff? Yeah, we still we still do fried chicken and a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> But it's the real deal Texas Q that inspired an insane feeding frenzy and a line that can stretch down the block. Oh, here we go. This feel is purely like small town right here. Yes. That's awesome. What kind of wood we got here? Uh, we, it's, a, it's a blend of oak and hickory. So this is this is the oak. Ah, smells like lunch. Well, well, no pecan wood? No pecan. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> most people probably think y'all are doing something with pecan wood. It's kind of a rare wood to smoke on. It is, you know, so I, I grew up in West Texas. We started with mesquite, but because it burns so hot and fast, yeah. I, you know, I couldn't sleep a lot at night, and so we started blending in the oak and everything like get, that. Get one or two more hours exactly. at night. This, folks, is the magic to Pecan Lodge. Briskets ride these pits for 15 to 18 hours. Some serious low and slow. I'm gonna smell like a smokestack the rest of the day or like barbecue. I'm gonna start licking my clothes when I get hungry in the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> Before I start licking stuff, I think it's time to eat. I've invited a buddy of mine to lunch, Texas Monthly Barbecue Editor, Daniel Vaughn. And what better way to do lunch than with the trough, complete with beef rib, pork ribs, brisket, pulled pork, and sausage. Yeah, I think we need to divide and conquer here. <laughs> you you go with that. Uh, as, as if we're gonna get to the end, like, oh, you ate some of my half. I mean, I'm like, you're gonna need one of these. All right, there we go. Like, go. look at the size of that beef rib compared to this. Just for comparison's sake. Need a little spare rib here. Dude. All right, obviously, I mean, the beef the beef rib has taken off. I mean, you didn't see many places doing this right 10 years ago. You had Louis Miller barbecue and Black's barbecue. That's yeah. really all there was. Now, within about the last five or six years, so many barbecue places are doing the beef rib, and now even outside of Texas. Oh man, I'm catching something sweet too in his rub. So Texas is known for the salt and pepper rubs, right. but at Pecan Lodge, they, they have eight or nine different spices in their rub, including a little bit of sugar. They weren't really barbecue purists going into this. They're also not coming from a barbecue family, so they don't feel beholden to certain recipes, so they have the freedom to do some different things. I mean, that bark on there, it's thick. And it is. Like, I mean, a lot more of those napkins, man. It's like all over my face. Yeah, here, let me uh, let me help you out there. Thanks, buddy. Uh -huh. Thanks, buddy. This platter's basically for the indecisive man. Like, yeah. Or the connoisseur. Or the connoisseur. <laughs> they got their pork sausage and then the beef sausage here. The beef has a little bit kick with some jalapenos, so. Holy smokes, man. What do you think Pecan Lodge brought to Dallas that wasn't here before? Well, I think it brought a new understanding of what barbecue could be. The whole idea of standing in a line, that there was barbecue worth waiting Anybody. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that, that didn't happen here in Dallas until Pecan Lodge started to get that line. The other barbecue joints that have opened here, they just have an understanding that if they want to really make a mark, then this is their target now. <laughs> That's a tough bullseye to hit, man. It is, it wow. is, but it's something to strive for. No kidding. Folks will continue to try, but for now, Pecan Lodge is the king of Dallas Q and we just conquered our own lunch. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com or here's some other videos you may like. Via con Dios, amigos.